Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the worst MLB logos ever. Some of these are really awful, so we're in for a treat today. Join me as I rank them. Alrighty, first up, we're going to look at the 1994 Houston Astros logo. This thing is just... It definitely screams 90s, and it kind of looks... Kind of looks like um like a grocery store off-brand logo. Like, it just... It doesn't look legit. It just looks off-brand. It looks cheap. They traded their classic orange and blue for this really ugly, like, bronze and dark blue. And, yeah, nothing special about this logo. Just kind of looks cheap and off-brand. This one is honestly one of my least favorites. Also, the like, the shape of it is just really stupid. Like, it doesn't look like it fit on a hat. It doesn't look like it fit on a jersey well at all. I think this is the worst logo I've probably seen from the MOB, but I might see even more worse ones as this list goes on. I'm going to put this at the bottom in just straight trash, and then the tiers above that on this list are going to be bad and then mid. It, it could be worse, but it's still not good. So mid, bad, and just straight trash. The Baltimore Orioles alternate logo from the late 90s to the late 2010s is another just miss as a logo, I think. Compared to some really bad logos, it's not the worst I've ever seen, but I think it removes everything good about the Orioles logo, because the Orioles has this like comic-y, cartoony bird that's just friendly looking, and the realistic take on it is just not it for me. Um, I really do like the orange and black theme of the Orioles, and I love their stadium. Um, and I love their colors and their normal logo, but I think the realistic bird just kind of takes the charm away from the Orioles and what they got going on. This one's not the worst logo I've ever seen, um, but it's definitely it's definitely not like one of the better ones. So I think we're gonna put it in the middle. It's just bad. Like it's just a it's a bad logo in my opinion. Might take the cake for the worst one, and we're only on the third logo at this point. So I'm sure they're just gonna get even worse. This is the Seattle Mariners logo from 1987 to 1992. Nothing about the logo really screams Mariners. You probably would have no idea what team it is when you first see it. It is literally just an M in a baseball. M's. Seattle M's. Like, what were they thinking? A, a whole profession was dedicated to creating this logo, and this is what they come up with. A baseball with an M inside of it. A circle with an M. Light blue. Or no, dark blue and light yellow also. Just... I guess maybe this was their colors back then in the 90s, but those colors don't remind me of the Mariners at all. So I think the colors off, the, the creativity's off, and it literally has no like brand recognition. You could not tell this is the Mariners. I think this is one of the least creative, uninspired MLB logos I've ever seen. It's straight trash. This next logo definitely shows its old age. It is the Pittsburgh Pirates logo from 1958 to 1966. This was their primary logo and it is an interesting one. The article that I saw this logo in nailed it perfectly. They said that it looks like a Crab House restaurant's like mascot or logo. And I'd agree with them. It looks like it belongs on a restaurant, big restaurant sign, neon sign. It doesn't look like a baseball team logo or a sports logo. Um, at least it represents the Pirates well. The Mariners one just doesn't say anything to give you an indication that it's the Mariners. This one is pretty clear that it's the Pirates, but it's it's kind of corny to me, a um, little goofy, and I'm all for a goofy little logo, but this one's just like goofy, but it's ugly. Like it's not like a cute design. Um, it's just a rough looking pirate here. Um, this one we'll put, it's it's mid, it's definitely not the the worst of the worst, and it's, it's not bad, but it's still not a great logo. Now this next one, I think I have a passionate hatred for. This is just an ugly, boring logo. It looks like an office supply company's like logo or something. It's so boring and it's just the colors are ugly. This is the Rangers primary logo from 1994 to 2002. So this isn't an alternate, this was their main logo. Really ugly lines, um, looks like a spreadsheet in the background. Nothing about this logo pops and it, it just looks like someone took it into Microsoft Paint or whatever and just typed in font literally onto the, the logo and just took a clip art star and threw it in the middle. This one is really bad and the Rangers could do something really cool with their logo but I feel like they've kind of had lame ones forever. 
This one, definitely trash in the bottom. It's so boring to look at. Like, it, it just, it's so boring. This next logo, it's definitely not the most egregious and standout bad logo. It is one of the oldest ones, I think, on this list. It's the Cubs primary logo from 1918. And this one's just a little, a little wacky. Um, but I don't think anything about it is obnoxiously bad. It's just kind of like a boring design. But not as boring as the Rangers one. Um, it's a... Basically just a word, Cubs, and then the C engulfs the entire word, but it doesn't close off. It's just kind of an interesting design, and I think it might show its age, because like this might have looked better back in the day. But it also doesn't look like classic to me, because there's some old logos that are classic and iconic, and this one just, eh, nothing, nothing about it really stands out. I don't think it's trash, I don't think it's awful, I think it's just mid, it's, it could be worse. Now, this logo is just confusing to me. It's the Chicago White Sox primary logo from 1960 to 1975 and there is a big sock in there so that indicates it's the White Sox but it's in the middle of a red circle. So it's a big red circle with a big white sock in the middle. I guess it's a pretty literal logo and then you have this design of a baseball player wearing a White Sox jersey inside the logo. So it's kind of like logoception. There's a logo inside of a logo. Um, this one, definitely ambitious, but I don't think it works. It's just too much going on. Maybe the just plain red circle and the white sock in the middle would be better. But then again, that'd be kind of a lame logo as well. This one, I don't know. Give them some credit for trying something different, but it, it's, it's not working for me. It's bad. If you've been watching this channel for basically any baseball video, you know how much I despise the Cleveland Indians, now called the Guardians. Their new name's just boring, whole controversy around that, it's just stupid. And I've always thought that their logos are really boring, so this is the 2014 to present Cleveland Indians logo, and they kept a similar logo when they became the Guardians. They have a couple, but this one is just Probably the lamest logo I've seen. It's so uncreative. It's just a C, a big red C, block letter C. No like borders around it to make it a little more interesting. And they have the balls to put a trademark sign next to the C. Like you're literally trademarking a, a letter. Like how lame could you be? I don't think there needs to be much said about this logo besides it's just straight trash and I will continue to hate the Cleveland Guardians slash Indians trash just when you thought it couldn't get any worse it does we have the cincinnati reds logo from 1905 what is with boring letter c's as logos like get more creative come on this one i think actually is worse than the the indians one from before because it's a c but it's an ugly c it's like almost close so it's like a whole circle and it's got these like weird like edged like it's not like a clean logo it's just like weird so I don't know how to describe it. it just looks gross it looks like wrinkly this C this one is so bad like I thought it could get worse but it did this is straight trash at the bottom as well speaking of kids drawings this one legit is like a kid's drawing like they just asked a kid to maybe maybe a 10 year old he's got a little more skill but it's still not great this tiger is just like anatomically like off it just doesn't look like a tiger like it you can tell it's a tiger but you also can't tell it's a tiger if you know what i mean yeah this one has a very kitty look to it um doesn't belong on a professional sports team jersey or hat maybe for like a middle school baseball team or something this reminds me of a meme i saw of some taxidermist who tried to stuff and taxidermy a tiger but he had never seen what a tiger looked like or maybe it was a lion so his design of what he thought it would look like was just wild this is back like 200 years ago this is what this reminds me of it's like a really cursed animal that just resembles what it's trying to but it doesn't doesn't quite hit the mark this logo honestly like because it's goofy i think i'll give it a little bit of a pass and it, it's a little more unique than the other trash ones. So I think we'll put it in mid. Like, it, it's bad, but it's it's so bad it's almost good. On to maybe the funniest one yet on this list. The Red Sox alternate logo from 1950 to 1959. If I told you that this was supposed to be a sock, would you believe me? Because I did not know what it was at first. It is a very creepy looking logo here. It's supposed to be a sock, and the sock makes a face. But then the sock is also wearing a headband and a hat. Yeah, it looks. It seems like whoever created this logo was uh, smoking something. I don't know what they were going for here. 
the sock is like a chin just looks so creepy and ugly and he's got such a weird creepy face this thing is what haunts you in your nightmares like you have a hat with this logo on it you wake up in the middle of the night and you just see it ac sitting across your room you're just terrified like your your dreams are going to be filled with this thing yeah this i mean this one is another one where it's almost so bad it's good but i think the creepy factor makes it makes me put it down at the bottom of trash because it's just freaky looking. Last but certainly not least, except it, it is the least because it's the worst one, the Milwaukee Brewers logo from 1994 to 1999. This was their primary logo for five years. How did this get past any board of directors, anyone with an opinion? How did they not say this looks trash? It looks like someone just like did an AI generation of like a team logo like input Milwaukee Brewers and see what it comes up with just slap some letters on baseball throw a bat in there and a diamond like the colors green and gold they're like muted colors like they could look better if they were brighter but it doesn't work just the M and B create literally a mess like you can't tell what this is you can't tell it's an M and a B it's a tangle and if you if you know baseball, I feel like you still wouldn't even know what team this is supposed to be, let alone someone who doesn't know baseball. They have no idea what this is. Um, yeah, this looks like, yeah, this almost looks like someone selling teas outside the stadium. Like, they just have their off-brand logo that they make, and then, like, the team is like, you know what, let's use that for our, for our design. This one is so bad. This honestly might be one of the worst logos I've seen, not, a, not only in baseball, but in any sport, period. Uh, I mean, let me know what you guys think down below what you think the worst logo is, but I think we can all agree this one's pretty bad, probably the worst. Uh, if you want to see me rank the best logos next, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below that you want to see that, and also comment what you think is the worst logo so far. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.